Okay, here we go. The BC900 um, Charger Challenge uh, 2009 Christmas time. Just uh, charging different batteries. A uh, couple interest, basically hitting display. You can go through the different chargers, and this is number two. But I've written them all down for your pleasure. That was number one. This is number two. Okay, what's important? What happens when you do your charge and you hit the button the first time? You get the trickle charge. Who cares? Doesn't matter. It's at 63. It'll be at 63 or around 60, 57 on this one. It just doesn't matter. It's full, which is great, but you've got that on all of them already, so that doesn't matter. It may matter if you're doing one at a time. Um, voltage. I first thought that because you're charging a 1.2 volt, getting it above 4 is basically your standard. It's testing for 4 volts, I thought, and then it stops. At the second time you get volts. There you go, that's the volts. There's your charge rate, there's your volts. And, but, I found that this one, the Sanyo battery, only went to 3.5 volts and charged up, um, which was interesting. It didn't get quite as high as the Power EX or the Energizers. But, on the other hand, the important part of the test, we'll get to the, that part now, is this number. Because what you're doing at this point, we had 500 milliamp draw. Which means that's how much energy it's pulling out of the battery. And for that, it did this for three hours. Um, or put the energy back in is what you're actually looking for. But basically it could charge that for um, over three hours and put in 1700. Whereas that battery should be over 2000. So this is a weak battery. Um, which is probably why I didn't use them. I never got them over 2000 and they're supposed to be over a uh, 2 amp battery. These other ones, they all charge for over four hours. This is a two point. Notice the point. 2.2 amps, 2.48 amps, 2.42 amps on the first set of batteries. So those came out fine. They're going to last um, at that charge rate for over four hours, which is what you want. That's basically a, a, a standard battery. You get a four and a half hours when it's really high, but basically over four you still got a very good battery, usable battery. Then you get to these other batteries, which were basically in my should I throw these out pile question. And, like I said, we had the milliamp current charging rate, doesn't matter. Voltage, they all charged to over 4 volts, which is great, I don't know why, but the important part is this part down here. This one, the first one only charged to 1,000, half, only 1,100, but basically half of what it should be. It, it took that in like an hour. Even this other weak battery above it is three times, well, two times, about well, 50% more, is 50% more. Um, I must have had this at a thousand amp charge rate, which is I think I bumped it or something, or it started charging right away or something. But uh, anyways, it tells you that the milliamps that it charged to. Yes, it, if it hit that in an hour, that means it was charging at a thousand milliamps, um, and that's where it got to. This one was charging at five hundred milliamps, and that's where it got to. So somehow I bumped that, or I. I tweaked it somehow, and it's charged at a thousand, but it only got to eleven hundred. It should have gotten to 
2002 amps. And this one only charged for a, just over a half an hour, six tenths of an hour, and only made half of that where it even got into the battery to stay. So this battery is dead, gone. This battery charged for less than a half an hour. This isn't 2.4. This is 241 milliamps. It's dead. Gone, 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 gone. Same with this one. One hour at a thousand amp charge that this one had. It didn't even hold half of that. And it decided it was dead. That's as far as it's going to go. So there you are. Um, the final test and description of what's going on. You want your batteries to be over... 2 amp charge and hopefully if you're charging at a slower rate this will be four hours or more um, but basically this is your product so for me um, none of these are usable in this battery so you take these guys you pull them out put them into a recycle bag and throw them in the trash. These other ones, this one I'm never going to use but uh, you know might be good in a flashlight around the house and these guys again basically because they're my old batteries they'd be great in flashlights around the house um, if I use them every month or so just to use them up and recharge keep the battery charged. So these guys are keepers this one's barely a keeper, and these guys, this one may have been good enough if I didn't have a bunch of other batteries, um, and I just wanted something that was going to burn a little while, but basically these guys are all trash. Okay, that's it. We are full, and going to go into the, someday I'm going to use these, maybe battery pile, or charge them up every couple months just to make sure that they have a little bit of charge in them. Have yourself a great day. This has been the PC900 Peter Antonitis Peak Picks. Um, and this should go on to my YouTube fairly soon. And that's it. This is five, part five of the five part series where I just showed the initial input, um, a couple interim shots on the batteries. And then this one with the totals. And we got good batteries. A couple. The rest of them are throw them out. Have a good day. Merry Christmas.